Let's go over the things you're going to need to continue on with this tutorial. You need a valid Steam account. So, just any Steam account, really. As long as you have one somewhere on some computer, whatever. Uh, you need games in your Steam library. It doesn't matter how many. You just need games in your Steam library. You need an email to sign up for GeForce Now. This is free. Um, but you do need a valid email address and a controller if you would like to be able to um, you know play these games with a controller so go to uh, your web browser and you want to just you can just look up uh, GeForce Now and it should be the top link or go to nvidia.com slash uh, English US slash GeForce Now, just like you see right here. And you should get to this web page. Uh, what you can do is go up to the top and click on this little icon. Once you have clicked on this icon, you won't see the same screen, but um, you now you want to get to something like this where you can uh, sign in. Now, um, it doesn't matter, just go to, I recommend logging in with Google. So just, you know, any Google account will work. And um, if you don't already have account with that Google account, it will ask you to complete the profile simply by giving yourself a display name and uh, putting in your birth date. So just click create account and it will log you in. If you get to something like this, just uh, go through whatever you want. And um, yeah, so just check whatever and click submit. You will get to a screen like this. Just go to uh, GeForce Now up at the top. And you can click join and then after you click join uh, you want to select free now the basic rig is still very very high end um however you do only get one hour play time uh but as soon as you close out of the game and go back in that resets so it's not a huge deal but select a free account um, or if, if you want to install this application on your computer, you can either download it for Windows or Mac, or if you just want to run it in a, a Chrome, a Safari, or a Microsoft Edge, you can do that. I am in Google Chrome, so I'm going to click launch for Chrome, and you should see something like this. You can close out. So once you're logged in with your new account, you are going to see this. Um, now, some games you can play for free. Um, actually, you can play basically all of these for free, but you need accounts for them. Like, for example, for Fortnite, you need an, uh, an Epic Games account. What you can do is uh, go to My Library and click Connect Your Store Accounts. You can also just go right here and click on Settings. But once you're here, you're going to see Connections. And you can uh, connect the Ubisoft account, Epic Games, and Steam. So, yeah, if you have an Epic Games library, you can connect that as well. But I just want uh, to connect my Steam account. So click on Connect. And it will prompt you to sign in with your Steam account. Okay. Now that you uh, have signed in, you should get this screen. Just click on Sign In. And uh, you should see your Steam account is connected. And now you can go back to the other tab and go back to games. Now it's going to say one of three accounts connected. Um, although you won't see your library right away. Okay. 
So what you may need to do is uh, click on your Steam account settings. And you want to make sure, just like it says, your uh, Steam profile and game details need to be public. So we got my profile, that is public. And then game details, that is the public. You can change it back right after. But for right now, set that to public. After that, go back and click resync. There we go. Um, after doing that, it should say, you know, however many games synced. Um, now you can go back, and if you want, you can set this back to friends only or whatever it was before. But if you go to games now, you should see your Steam library. So, for example, I am going to load up the BMG Drive. Now, if you get this little thing down here, just click Let's Go and enable notifications. This will notify you when your rig is ready. Okay, so it is done loading. You can allow this and allow. Now, you want to click continue. And this only happens the first time. So the first time uh, that you uh, launch a game, you are going to need to sign in again. This is the uh, last time you will need to do this. Just click remember me and sign there we go it should sign you in and I'm not sure if all games do this but uh, you may see like um, steam window itself here um, let us go to the game you selected which should be the only one actually here and downloaded and just click play anyways there you have it that is how you can play your Steam games on the internet or on any device with a web browser. Thanks for watching and have a good day.